hello everyone uh, today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c uh, if we have 30 cube plus 40 cube plus 50 cubed equals to c cubed and we solve this problem for the values of c here we need to uh, uh, solve this problem only for uh, real values of c okay so for uh, real values of c uh, uh, we uh, need some working on uh, both of the sides to get the uh, real answers of C. So here, uh, I hope so you like this method, but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So now, first we rewrite this equation as this is 30 we write it as 3 multiplied by 10 and its whole cubed plus this is 40 we write it as 4 multiplied by 10 and its whole cubed this is 50 we write 5 multiplied by 10 and its whole cubed and this is equals to c cubed and now here in the next step uh, we need to apply uh, 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 the nice exponent law you know that if you have a multiplied by b and its whole power is m so we write it as a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m so uh, for this we need to apply this cube uh, separately on both of these values and it will be written as 3 cubed multiplied by 10 cubed and plus this is 4 cubed multiplied by 10 cubed and plus this is uh, 5 cubed multiplied by 10 cubed and this whole equation equals to c cubed and now uh, you see here uh, all of these uh, values contains uh, 10 cubed uh, so it means that uh, 10 cubed be the common term uh, so here we need to take common 10 cubed and we get the remaining values are 3 cubed plus from here we get 4 cubed plus from here we get 5 cubed and this whole equation equals to c cubed and now here our next target is to focus on these three values and now first we need to find uh, the cube of uh, these three values 3 cubed 4 cubed and 5 cubed and you very well know about the meaning of 3 cubed is that we need to multiply 3 with 3 times and you see here this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9 and 9 times of 3 becomes 27 it means that 3 cubed equals to 27 i hope so some students do uh, this cubed uh, directly uh, in our mind but some average or moderate students uh, mediocre students have uh, difficulties to find the cube of these terms so for those students i can uh, do all of these steps okay uh, so now we move move uh, forward and we find the cube of 4 and we write it as 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 and you see here this is 4 times of 4 becomes 16 and when you multiply 16 times of this 4 and now here 16 times of 4 equals to 64 and similarly we find the value of 5 cubed and we know that 5 cubed is equals to 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 and here you see that 5 fives are 25 and 25 times of 5 is equals to 125 so now we need to replace these three values on these values here so that our uh, the above equation is implies that first you have this is 10 cubed into uh, we have this is 3 cubed and 3 cubed equals to 27 plus 4 cubed equals to 64 and 5 cubed equals to 125 and this whole equation equals to c cubed and now here further in the next step we need to sum up all of these three values and you see here we have 5 plus 4 becomes uh, 9 and 9 plus this 7 uh, is equals to 16 so we write 6 and carry 1 we have 2 plus 6 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 we write 1 and carry 1 so this is 1 plus 1 becomes 2 
and it will becomes here 216 so 10 cubed multiplied by 216 is equals to c cubed uh, and now here uh, we easily uh, uh, see that uh, to find the value of 216 into the cubic form uh, and we know that is equals to 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 and this is equals to 6 cubed and now here we need to replace this 216 equals to 6 cubed and it will be written as 10 cubed multiplied by 6 cubed and uh, this whole equation is equals to c cubed and now here in the left in the left hand side we need to combine uh, the cube of these two values and it will be written as 10 multiplied by 6 and its whole cubed is equals to 6 cubed uh, and now here uh, we need to take the cube root on both of the sides and you see here this is 10 times of 6 becomes 60 and its whole cubed equals to c cubed and when we take a cube root on both of the sides it will be written as 60 cube and its whole power 1 over 3 is equals to c cubed and its whole power is 1 over 3 and now you see here uh, when we multiply these two values so this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we get here our final value or final real value of c is equals to 60 so this is the our final answer of this problem and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos